if you would have told me that my kids would be at this point right now in August, I wouldn't have believed you. I really wouldn't have because I, I couldn't even understand like how to even launch it, right? Like how am I supposed to teach kindergarten online? And then I see how far we've come and it has really started to feel almost seamless, which is knock on wood, but, but I, it is just wild. Your perspective is incredibly unique and maybe more than maybe some other kindergarten teachers in other districts because you did start fully virtual, you went to hybrid. But you realize very quickly the things that seem straightforward are not always straightforward. <laughs> So I didn't want them to feel like it was completely um, new when they finally were in person, but it was definitely the most quiet kindergarten has ever been. Trying to, to be aware of the challenges that parents are facing, trying to juggle so many different things. Yeah, the first few weeks, my colleagues and I joked like, we should charge admission because there's so many extra eyes. And sometimes it's little siblings, which is kind of cool, right? The conversation was much more rich because it's not just them blindly trusting my data point. They've seen the data point time and time again because they're supporting their student. Seesaw is phenomenal. I've really, really enjoyed using it this year. I think it's so beneficial for differentiation. I, I really feel like I've never had a group as strong in math as this one, which is amazing. There's a lot of things that I think could really change after this sure. year. Um, and it's a lot of them for the better. I think even as a country, we're noticing how to be a little bit more efficient with things um, when we have to make do.